Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Simic Hydra. This is our second deck to do today with our donation deck uh, Monday that we're doing today. And uh, this one is pretty interesting. This is going to be some cards that I haven't played yet, and so I'm excited for that. I have not played, uh, however you pronounce this, Wildcrafter, Zhang Yanju, maybe. It's basically, we just got the, the really cute little pups in the corner, so really excited about that. Um, but, but seriously, though, this, this card works very well with a Growth Chamber Guardian and Incubation Druid, how we get to put a 1-1 counter on these creatures. That works great with the adapting. Um, and then it can also turn Growth Chamber Guardian or Merfolk Branch Walker or J Light Ranger, any of those creatures, into mana creatures also, uh, which you can certainly use for different things. So uh, <clears throat> turning your other creatures into mana creatures can be good if you want a whole lot of mana. And why would we want a whole lot of mana? Hydroid Crisis, of course. So we're, we're trying to just make a ton of mana. Another way to make a lot of mana is another card that I have not played yet, uh, Nissa, who shakes the world. So Nissa is going to be... Uh, producing a ton of mana for us with all of our forests, uh, including the breeding pools also, adding double mana, adding an additional green mana. So that's a w another way to play just a huge Hydroid Crisis. So that's a that's going to be a new card for me. Uh, we're playing Bioessence Hydras in here uh, just to you know have some really big Hydras with our all of these Planeswalkers still with all these Planeswalkers. And then uh, Kiora, draw some cards. Cure can draw cards whenever we play a Krasis or whenever we play a Bioessence Hydra. Unfortunately, Cure doesn't draw a card for Growth Chamber Guardian, because, you know, Growth Chamber Guardian will always enter as a 2-2, so you'll never get the trigger there. But for every Krasis and Hydra that we play, we'll draw a card. Plus, we get to ramp with this also. So we're doing lots of ramp, and then draw lots of cards. Uh, Tamio helps us rebuy Krasises or find them if we do the tick up, that kind of stuff. Um... And there we go. So this is going to be, you know, see how much mana we can have. This is going to be something new. Pretty excited for this one. <laughs> we need a green finale in here. Oh, I clicked too far. I want this. Yeah. Simic. There we go. Simic sleeve. Change over to Vanifar. Must be improved at any and let's cost. get going. Kiora wouldn't draw for Krasis? What What do you mean? Or uh, Kiora Yeah, because Kiora is power four or greater, so like as long as the Krasis is four four or bigger. No, Krasis enters with the counters. So as long as the Krasis is better or bigger than you know, four four or bigger than then No, because you can't enter as a zero zero, because whenever you're a zero zero as a creature you you die. So that's not it's not possible to be Zero toughness and stay on the battlefield. I have the War of the Spark book. I haven't read it yet, though. It, you know, without, you know, obviously I haven't read it, so I'm not giving any spoilers because I haven't read it. But just looking at the book and the font and everything, it's a, it's an easy to read book. Like the font is is pretty big, kind of thing. So it seems like it'll be, it's. It looks like it's going to be a fast read. I did want to play Growth Chamber Guardian and have that get bolted. I want to find more lands, especially blue land. Because I could have played like Kiora the next turn. Hmm. Bet you've never been hugged by a crack. One drop ripples and grows. I would like blue mana, please. Enter the God Eternals doesn't trigger Kiora. Gotcha. Hey, Akulal. 
Howdy. Wizards has a story website. You know, if you just type in, like, MTG Storyline, uh, they have a story website that has, like, all... They have it by plane, though, and not really by set. So, like, all the different planes have, like, their story on there. <laughs> yeah, Cruel Celebrant can be brutal. The big enough battlefield. Blue mana. Hooray, blue mana. Alright, so I'm going to... I want to adapt this thing. So we're going to adapt this thing. And then we're going to add... Blue. Untap it. I love to make a splash. Add green. And play this. Draw a card. Okay. Next turn with Hydro Crisis, we're gonna add a ton of mana. Man, Kiora plus Incubation Druid is pretty sweet. So that's six, ten, eleven. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. Let's get moving. Alright, we'll just do eight. Ooh. That's gonna be a bunch of big creatures. That's gonna be a bunch of big creatures. Dude, this deck's pretty sweet. Our opponent's not really doing anything, but. Which kind of helps out our deck, but. That's awesome. I did not really even consider, like, you know, Incubation Druid adding three, and then untapping, adding another three with Kiora. That's, like, you know, that's the first time seeing that. That's really cool. Man, new standard's always great, just, like, new cards and everything. Seeing these interactions, like, for the first time. Alright, so we're playing against red, so that means we want wild growth walkers, and we need the branch walkers to go with the wild growth walkers. I'm thinking Zhang can maybe be our cut. Timio. Yeah, everything else seems kind of important. I guess maybe I just get rid of growth chamber guardians, actually. Maybe we do that. Maybe we get rid of Growth Chamber Guardians and get a couple of these back in. No, I like. I mean, I usually like Negates against their deck. Yeah, we'll play a couple of Negates also. We'll do that. All right. This hand's so close to being good. We got Wild Growth Jade Light. Welcome back to the channel. Or new sub. Sorry, real sophist. Thank you so much for that sub there. Getting the hype votes in the chat. Sub number six on the day. Welcome. All right, let's find Wild Growth Walker. Well, we're getting closer to finding Wild Growth Walker. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't let me keep this druid this time. Ugh, double cast. Hmm. 
I'll show you dry walkers something truly spectacular. The ocean surges, life thrives. I would like to save this Jade Light Ranger for drawing a wild growth, if possible. That's my plan. Ugh. Okay, that's not bad. Nature flows with vigor. And we're only getting two life. Can we find a wild growth? Okay. Do they have one other burn spell to kill us? Out of all of those cards, plus risk factor drawing them a bunch more cards. Seems pretty likely. Maybe not. Yep. Alright, Gutter Snippers is annoying. So yeah, I definitely want all the negates. Just get those in there. Then I can trim Nissa. All right, next game. Wild Growth Walker. Hooray, walkers. They're not making it easy on us, though. No, no Jade Light to follow it up with. So we'll see if they bolt our Incubation Druid again. Uh-oh. land. Ugh. Tried so hard to draw land. I really wanted to, to, you know, just play both of those at the same turn. Krakens, leviathans, octopuses, serpents. Oh, I love them all. One drop ripples and grows. I guess I just play one of these. Let them kill one. You never know, maybe they don't have a burn spell in their deck of burn spells. Dang, they had one. Yeah, I could definitely see Nissa being better than Vivian.
I will be double blocking the Steamkin if it attacks with the Jade Light and Krasis. They're down to Let's get moving. <clears throat> down to three cards. We're still at nineteen. We got an eight eight. Next turn, that 8-8 is going to turn into a 14-14. Unless we draw an explore thing. Hey, Yager. Most underrated card for the new scent? Probably 3-mana Vivian. I like 3-mana Vivian a lot. That's my pick. Well, good news is we're not dead yet. Would you like to see what's left of Scum? The wilds are my shield. I have not tried a Tezzeret deck yet, no. The ocean surges, life thrives. Mm -hmm. Tibalt does some serious work in the Aristocrats deck. Don't kill me. They draw Lightning Strike. Ugh! Man, Lightning Strike would have killed me. Dang, that was so close. That was so close. Tibalt's animation is sweet? Or Tezzeret? Which one? I haven't seen either in play yet. Ooh, boy. Whew. All right, this could be our first time to cast Nissa. The Teza animation, okay. Don't kill my druid. My druid didn't hurt nobody. Why are you looking at it? No. Hmm. So if I play Llanowar off here, I could potentially, you know, have five mana next turn. I'll play Jade Light though. I feel like our opponent's a Chain Whirler deck. I mean, that was a good Jade Light of getting rid of two cards that we can't cast. Alright, now can I get that Hydro Crisis back, please?
I will protect the virtue of this world. The land shall conquer you! Could be boring coming. Hopefully not. Yeah, definitely could have maybe just killed, had the Vivian kill the rhythm, but I like, you know, like Nissa being able to add just a ton of mana for us here this next turn. Draw and not bad for a mouse. It's risky, Rise, like my elemental friend, making these these lands three threes. I don't like this. There we go. I don't like how it's like real delayed like that. So it's it's risky making these lands three threes, like with them being a bolt deck. But. We're also killing our opponent pretty quickly. Would we rather be playing Wild Growth Walker plus Branch Walker instead of Growth Chamber Guardian? I think so, yeah. So if we're doing that, what am I taking out? I guess it's the Wild Crafter. All right. You can't change the art on lands in Deck Builder. You have to manually add lands with, like, the basics with the art that you want um, in, like, in whenever you import the deck list. Uh, it's kind of a pain, but... <laughs> yeah... You can get your forest burned down with Nissa. Nissa does not do a good job of preventing forest fires. Hasty. More lands. I wonder how many lands we have in this deck. It seems like we just always need more lands. Every game. But obviously it's just been a really... Yeah, 24. That's fine. With all these mana creatures and explore things. Flows with vigor. Please don't kill my Kiora. Don't kill Kiora. Don't kill Kiora. Now our opponent knows about the BioS Insider, though. I was hoping they weren't going to, you know, they weren't going to know about it before. I could have put it in my graveyard, but that would just be weird putting that in the graveyard. But yeah, they have the Rhythm of the Wild here, so they could play something scary. Thanks, True Pixels. So that puts Kiora at one. Nope. 
Wow. Play Krasis for four. Oh, I'm just playing ten tens. Playing Krasis the next turn. Yeah, I'm not playing a 5-5 five, five Krasis that I would have been able to do if I would have untapped a land, but I want this 10-10 back on defense also. Our opponent could just be sitting there with their five mana cards in hand, you know, like their dragons and stuff, and not being able to, to play them. Yeah, Kiora gave Vigilance to the Hydra. It's pretty nice. Um, so if I don't block, I die to Lightning Strike. Sorry, if I... Yeah, if I don't block, I die to Lightning Strike. Or Collision Colossus. If I don't block, I can attack for 14 trample, and they only have 6 toughness, and so, you know, it could threaten having lethal. I think we're okay in a later game. We can block? No. Maybe we'll just go... Let me just go for it, because I guess... Yeah, I guess we're kind of dead to whenever they have 5 mana and play hasty, whether it's like Illrog or Dragon or anything, so... I guess we just take it. I'll try to kill him on the swing back. Yeah, I could not believe that. Yeah, I could not believe it that BioS Insider gains. How it gains counters. Um, whenever you play Planeswalkers, it's pretty crazy. to make a splash. All right, we got there. Two and oh. Deck's playing out pretty well so far. What's up, Sothian? Good evening. <clears throat> yeah. I can't believe that, you know, so like whenever I read that, I definitely thought that it was like, yeah, you plus up your Planeswalker, you add a counter to the Bioads and Tider. Cool. Definitely did not realize that you cast a new Planeswalker, it enters with the loyalty, and you just put all those counters on Hydra. Yeah, this deck's looking pretty solid so far. We've beaten a couple aggro decks. I am... I'm wondering if like the main deck should just have, like to help us against aggro, the main deck should just be with, you know... Wild Growth Walker and and the rest of the Branch Walkers just don't play Growth Chamber Guardian in this deck, and that could uh, you know free up some sideboard slots where you could play like some Entrancing Melody. 
that kind of stuff. We need to get Lil Vivian in here. Lil Vivi. That should be the correct link. Stream Decker is pretty slow sometimes. There you go, yeah, it's working now. Yeah, Stream Decker can be slow. What? It didn't even let me choose which... It didn't even let me choose which creature I wanted to sacrifice. What's the deal with that? My Daylight Ranger was suddenly gone. Hadana's Climb, maybe, instead of the Jing Yangju. That would be like the slot where Hadana's Climb could, could possibly fit. Give the Wild Hydra animals, I come to flying me. and double, the, double it and everything. Still rude. If we're playing a, a five mana four four either way. We might as well play the one that replaces itself here instead of the Hydra, which could get bigger if you know we find a Planeswalker. Like these are just five mana four fours with no Planeswalkers. Good call, you called it. Yeah, they did have Carnage. symbiotic relationships. We'll do this together. Attack. I guess that wild, having the Wild Growth Walker instead of Growth Chamber Guardian would not have been as good this game. Yeah, our, our opponent's deck does look like they were playing a really low-costed co deck, and so they're getting pretty unfortunate with all those lands. I think I like this as like a better setup, and then we have like a 59th card. I, I don't think we need Growth Chamber Guardian and Yangju, yeah, Jing Yangju. Like maybe a, maybe one, uh, like for a main deck, maybe one of that card y'all were just saying, uh, the enchantment. Um, yeah, whatever that would be. Hadana's Climb. There we go. Hadana's Climb. Could have a Hadonis climb there. And maybe not Tamiyo, maybe another Vivian Reed. It's a lot of fives though, but or maybe something else there. I'm not I'm we haven't I'm not sold on this Tamiyo yet. Maybe just a third Kiora. Kiora's kinda cool. Anyway, we've got to play one of these cards. Um they seem to have just a ton of spells. I'll play this singular negate over here, see if we get them. 
Maybe just like an entrancing melody or two in the main. Like entrancing melody is good against lots of stuff. Maybe just a couple of those main deck. No, little Vivi. I forgot. That's what. That's the card I want. I want three mana Vivian. Yeah, I would. Yeah, get two. Get two three mana Vivians in here instead of the other Yangju and the the Tamio. We need more Planeswalkers for that other five five. Yeah, Incubation Druid's good. Yeah, Lil Vivi, that's what we need. We need more Planeswalkers, so yeah, Lil Vivi. And then we open up a lot of sideboard slots. Could have, like, a lot of Frilled Mystics in the sideboard. I don't think I'm going to play my Wild Growth Walker into that Lightning Strike. It's like we're waiting to turn. Yeah, you can get stuff back with, with Tamio. Yeah, we just haven't drawn Tamio. So I see like maybe like one little Vivi, one Tamio. I don't know. Yeah, we just haven't really seen it yet. going to require a bigger crisis. So let's go Jade Light Land War. So we have more mana for next turn. Now we can have a 6-6 six, six crisis next turn. Stop. With the coils. No, it, do not need Simic Ascendancy at all. So either six six Crisis or I could go Kiora plus Bio Essence Hydra. We'll we'll wait on that. Let's get this thing down here to block this Phoenix. with our life total, what it is. And I, do I, do I block Phoenix and trade with like the lightning strike also? I think so, right? Like we're just gonna win a long game. I think how we lose is we get I think how we lose is we get, you know, burned out. Hey, Furious Fred. Yeah, definitely glad we played the Crisis. Wow, they're just playing that instead of Lightning Strike. Interesting. Just get this 11 11 in play. Try to get a two turn clock. And then Krasis next turn. We're going to take five here down to six. Could be three more down to three. Ugh. Like 
I think it's our best option, though. I don't see the Krasis really helping us as much. Alright, we draw a Wild Growth Walker. No. Alright, so now it's Crisis time. Let's get moving. Six, seven, eight. Well, that's what I'm talking about. We already used our we used our untap to make it an eight eight crisis to gain the four. So I'm not gonna attack with the Hydra. I'm not official. Am I dead? Oh, I'm dead. Ugh. Ugh, man. Our opponent was so dead the next turn. They have lethal! They didn't take it! If they just attack out, I died. Woo! They would've just attacked out. That's all they needed to do is just attack. After they played the the Judith like that, I thought they were just going to kill me. <laughs> and then yeah, we were going to just gain 24 life there. Because Jade Light gains, like, that gains 12, and then the other Jade Light would gain another 12, so we're going to be able to just gain 24 life. Oh, the opponent sacrificed the wrong Judith? They sacrificed the, the haste one? Whoops. Where's my whoops emote? Well, we're three now. I guess opponent didn't want that one. All right, Dread Horde control is up on. I guess I need to type something here real quick, and then I'll be up on YouTube. Now it's up on YouTube. Firebrand. No, that one's that list. Celestia Tokens list is not up yet. I, I'm going to be making that one. Haven't made it yet, and not sure if we're getting to that or not. Probably will. We'll see. These game. These ones have been going pretty quick. We're almost done with our second league here. So no, we'll we'll make that one together here on on the stream. So you know that'll take 15, 20 minutes or so. 
Yes, this could work without the explore package, I would think. Uh, the... I'm just out. Right now, most of the explore package, we've had half of it's in the sideboard. And so, you know, you could de definitely play different sideboard cards. So there's only six of the explore package in the main deck in this build. And you could play... To replace it, you could play a couple more 4 mana stuff. Like, we could play... Like, you would play a 25th land first. So, like, one of the six would be a 25th land. You could play, like, two Zagana or, like, one Zagana. You know, you play, like, a four mana thing. Um, and then you'd probably want a couple interactive spells. Like, maybe a couple... Like, two of the Steel Lump thing. Man, I am not doing good with names today. Two Entrancing Melodies. We have Jing Yang Zhu in the Hadonis Climb slot. But I didn't... This is not a list I put together, Noxie. So, like, why am I not playing Hadonis Climb? I, don't, I mean, I'm playing the cards that were... That we're playing. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to take out those six from the main deck, like two entrancing melody, a third land, or like another land, so that's three, uh, and then get some four drops. And that's like two of them, and probably another two drop. You'd probably want another two drop creature, maybe like a paradise druid. Crowl harpooner. I think we would want to keep that in the sideboard. Hmm. It's interesting. You're welcome. I don't know if our opponent's going to have Celebrant. They look like red-black, but yeah, they could certainly have Bontu next turn. No news on London Mulligan and Standard. your day. Uh, some of both. Be your best some self. people donate lists, and some people donate uh, like cards for me to build around. Uh, these first two were lists that were donated for me. Like the the last one is going to be a Slesnia token, so that we're going to just that we're going to build it. That it was just donated to play Slesnia tokens. I've learned a lot today. Mawu. 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 Attack. Um, 
Um, they have trample. I like our opponent's name of like give him hell with like this deck. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks, Hyro. Alright, explore package. Yeah, and then the sideboard you can uh, replace these with like yeah, crowl like crowl harpooners, another crushing canopy, frilled mystics, um, maybe more entrancing melody, mass manipulation. You can have those kind of things in the sideboard if you don't want to explore package. I'm kind of thinking the other way of like that Growth Chamber Guardian and Zhang Yan Zhu not so necessary and you know have those in the sideboard get the explore package in the main deck. It's like, I, I feel like, you know, maybe we should be playing, um, the, what's the other five mana mythic from last set? The ooze. Biogenic ooze, yeah. I feel like we should be playing, like, biogenic ooze, but then, like, this hydra has just been, like, really good a, a lot of the time. And so it's like, maybe we don't, maybe we should be playing hydra. Not, uh, no. Aku, lol. Just, no, I don't think you need... Neoforms or more one-one counter stuff. Uh, they do have a lot of. They do have a lot of um, removal spells for these things, but that does eat up their spells. They're casting removal. No chain whirler. Cross your fingers, no chain whirler. I bet we can't really beat a priest of forgotten gods. That's gotta be a really hard card for us to beat. Yeah, we need like some entrancing melodies or like that kind of stuff. Something like that. There we go. See, it looks like we're actually playing like a regular. Yeah, you know, like we didn't just keep a one lander. Looks like we're just playing regular old stuff here. I did you can't stop nature. Jade Light Ranger was gonna be the only thing I would take over a land. I don't I think I'd probably take a land over a crisis. Actually, maybe not. I'll probably take the land over a crisis. No, don't do it. Don't do it. No chain whirler. Whew. Okay. Mayhem devil. All right, that's easy. We could deal with that one. Because I want... I'm playing Vivian because I want to look for more lands and look for a Jade Light Ranger. I'm a survivor. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Hmm. So now we're at infinite life, <clears throat> and we'll find a way to win eventually. No, I don't think Lavinia will really make a sideboard slot. It's basically, the only thing Lavinia counters is because it's only non-creature spell, so it doesn't. It's not like it counters like you know Hydroicrasis and stuff like that when you add a lot of mana in there. the The only thing it really counters is Nexus if they don't have seven lands, but they can play around it or bounce it or anything like that. I don't think Lavinia will see any play in standard. Alright, we're 4 now. Final boss time. 
Oh yeah, Rolesk is a card. Let's get those final boss emotes in the chat. Kefnet is, is seeing a decent amount of play so far. I mean, it is it is blue, and blue is the best color in standard, so that's something that it has going for it. Nisa. I don't think Roalesque is really better than any other five drops that are already in the deck. I'm not, not sure the deck needs more five drops. I think if the deck could use another five drop, it would be another copy of. Together, we will prevail. Another copy of Vivian. The land fights for us. I don't think I want lands to get killed. This is like, yeah, Esper Control. They're gonna like Kaya's Wrath. I don't, I don't think I want my lands getting Kaya's Wrath. What's the minus eight do? You get an emblem with lands you control have indestructible. Search your library for any number of forest cards. Put them onto the battlefield tapped. Cool. Not cool. Behold, Definitely a good call of not letting my, my land would have got Othakaya to probably. Or like Akaya's Drath away. Definitely glad that I did not put counters on these lands. I think that was something that a lot of people would have done right there. That doesn't bounce Planeswalkers, right? For my Artifact creatures type. enchantments. Sweet. So two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. I'll protect you. You need two, four, six, eight. Basically, do, do I want to put a counter on one of these things now? I think so. I mean, I definitely want to attack to fairy, right? So it's... Well, two, four, six. Like, if I, if I attack to fairy and I don't add something, then it's only nine. So then we only draw... So then we do X is seven, so we only draw three. So we basically draw another card. All right, yeah, we can do it on the island. That's a good call. So let's just do that. All right, so two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, five. Or right, so ten is eight. There we go. X is eight. Harness the elements. Oh wait, it has vigilance. It's only a Dang, I could have drawn another time. card. Uh I could have, yeah, I could have attacked the news for mana afterwards. So I could have just done that with the forest and made it ten. X is ten and drawn one more card. New cards. Always mess up like the first time with new cards. No! What a mill! My Hydra, my Krasis, my other planeswalkers. No.
thought I ticked you up. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Just looking for a planeswalker. Another planeswalker. I must go. <laughs> y'all, man, y'all, y'all really want me to ult there? I do not regret not ultimating. Trade with Contempt. I oh, got that out of there. Yeah, we get a lot of lands. But then our, our Nissa's gone. There's a, there's a chance they just didn't have a Contempt. And then we would have been able to ultimate the next turn. If you show no time for a break. We would have had we. It's it's not actually all your lands that you're removing. Because you know the hinterland harbors and islands would stay in. So the only reason, the only way they play Teferi and do that is that they have Mortify. That's the only way they're, they're doing this is with Mortify. So we're not actually attacking them for lethal. Only time will tell. Yeah, Breeding Pool would still go in. There's no way that we're actually attacking them for lethal, right? They just they had to have more fire there, right? Liliana. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. Liliana. What a good mindless minion. Hey folks. Hmm. Oh, 
How disappointing. I'll find so I attack them, you, they get to chump block, draw a card. Next turn, they get to make another creature that chump blocks, draws a card. You know, they keep drawing cards. I want to try to uh, keep the amount of cards they're drawing to a minimum. So they could have cast down here for this thing. Oh well. I think they would have saved Liliana if they did. So we have, we still have a lot of cards, so we can hopefully outgrind our opponent. And just take the long, the long route. All right, we got a lot of counter magic coming in. Not sold on the crushing canopies, but I could certainly see my opponent playing Thieva Sanity here in the post board games. This is not a matchup where I love BioS and Hydra. I think they just get to, you know, they can just trade trade down on on uh, mana. I think you know it's just always going to eat a cast down and mortify a Kaya's Wrath. You know, just doesn't doesn't help us too much there. And then it's like Land War Elves and Incubation Druid. I mean, I guess Kior is just not doing very much now. We'll just draw a card whenever we play a Krasis. That's all it is, is just draw a card if you play Krasis. I guess the untap is still fine. Though. Okay. I don't think there's really a, a best deck so far in the new standard after four days. Um, I don't think there's a best deck yet. Krasis is a great card to have to draw later. It's not like the best thing to have in your opening hand, whether it's because of thought erasures or uh, you know, just you don't have a whole ton of mana like at the beginning of the game. Out of my favorite decks, I really like the Gruul deck that we played last night. Um, really like that one. I feel like we could. Uh, I like. I kind of like what the Simic deck has going on. I feel like we could do some. Some stuff of, uh, like how I've talked about of, like kind of, you know, basically make it a, a little slightly different deck. But I think Simic has a lot of good, good stuff going on with it. Yeah, Simic Nexus is a good pick for the, the best deck if you had to pick a best deck. I can't really think of one better than that right now, and so that is. Fairly annoying. No, there's no Hadana's Climbs in here. Alright, that's a 5 0. That was easy. That was easy. Good old 3-2 branch walkers. Getting the job done. Alright, Simic Hydra deck. It's pretty sweet. BioS and Hydra was awesome. Played against a, a good amount of aggro decks. 
that's what we mostly played against and and our our big bioessence hydras and big hydroic races were just so good against aggro um what did simic nexus get in this set is uh tamio is like one thing they they got tamio makes their deck a lot better oh, i if you're asking for deck lists for nexus you come to the wrong spot that's not a deck i'll ever play i really really dislike wellness reclamation so yeah our deck worked really well and if you want to play this deck list you know certainly you know wouldn't uh fault you for doing so at all um i think though i'm gonna kind of change this simic i like i like some of the stuff we have going in here and i've been meaning to make a simic deck you know it's on my list of like decks to make and i think this could be like a good backbone shell for um a simic deck that that i've been thinking about so i'm just going to kind of change this up like so what if or maybe i'll just make a new clone it no all right that's fine so uh, i'm thinking maybe of going like get all these wild growth walkers over here really we have to do this one by one that's what we're doing now arena okay and move like the branch walkers over here and not play growth chamber guardian or that card and have why would Vivian not show up? Do I not know how to spell Vivian? It's it's an E. That's why. Have a couple little little Vivies. Or I guess like one little Vivi, one more over there. Some frilled mystics. I don't know if we need all four. I'm just putting four over there right now. Um, and then like two entrancing melodies and one mass manipulation. We didn't play like the Tamio at all, so I'm not sure if we really want the Tamio or not. Um, go back to our regular playlist. If we have three harpooners, that's 18. I guess we cut a frilled mystic. That's 17. I kind of want all those negates and frilled mystics. Hmm. Thanks, Julius. Yeah, I liked I liked your list quite a bit. Like I, um, I'm saying here, I'm making like a different Simic deck, kind of using that shell, of like saying like what else. Can we get there? Yeah, Melodies. Yeah, I really like Melody. I guess I'm not playing a second Vivian. Gosh, this Vivian's so good, though. I think I'd rather have that second Vivian over the Tamio. All right, this gets a 16. And uh, what would be the other sideboard cut? Maybe... I guess one of the negates, I guess. Or a harpooner. It's a harpooner. You just don't see as much mono blue and stuff around. No, I don't I don't want a colorless land in the deck that like really cares about forests. With like Nissa here. Yes, yeah, so maybe something like that. 
Um, yeah, you bring a mass manipulation against other explore decks, like basically, basically other decks that play the explore combo, you'd bring in your mass manipulation there. Entrancing Melody, you can bring in against all the aggro decks. Um, you know, basically any creature deck, you can bring in Entrancing Melody, it's going to be good against them. Any deck with kind of cheap creatures. No, the Sage that proliferates whenever a land is, whenever you play, whenever you have a land drop, that card's not bad. I wouldn't say that card's just bad. You need to, you really need to build around that and, you know, have like those, like those extra 1-1 one -one counters really matter. Like probably in like a Super Planeswalker heavy deck. Um... Yeah, so I think I'm, I'm going to try this Simic Midrange list that looks like this. I think I'm going to try this tomorrow on tomorrow's stream. Um, I think I'm going to try this one. Uh, we have some other donation decks to get to tomorrow, but I, I liked that Simic Hydra that we just played, and it you know gives me some ideas of trying out some other cards. Um, yeah, the deck was really good, so can't can't uh, hurt having the 5-0. All right, Dexlin, you're about to run this list? Yeah, let me know how it goes. Let me know how it goes. Um, yeah, we could probably play this tomorrow on Ranked. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, so there we go. Uh, if you're uh, watching this video later on on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, you know, you can try try the first version with the Growth Chamber Guardians if you'd like, or maybe try this updated version also, either way. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching some Simic Hydra, and I will see you for the next video.